Hey, it's Rob, and welcome to Axel's Garage. We have another customer service call for you, and I'm going to tell you what's going on here. A few years ago, and it's been quite a few years now, I don't know exactly how long, but we switched over to DirecTV for our TV provider. And I think they had just gotten, um, became AT&T, because DirecTV, even though it's DirecTV, it's really AT&T. And we had, shoot, we have one, two, three, four, five. We had five TVs, five boxes, and it was like $54 a month. And then, you know, the, when the boys were home, um, the big dummy and the little big dummy, they liked watching NFL football on Sundays. I'm a college football guy, so I don't really watch the NFL games unless they're on and I happen to be doing nothing, which is unusual. So, but they wanted the the um, the football package, so we got the football package, and then we got the Red Zone Channel, which is is a pretty neat feature. I wish they had the Red Zone Channel for college football, but um, then and then you got an additional charge for that for the football, uh, the Sunday ticket, and the Red Zone Channel. You got an additional charge that you only paid um, like half the year during football season, you paid off monthly, whatever that increase in the package was, and that has gone up tremendously. They even changed it last year. They, um, in order to get the Red Zone channel, you had to get an upgraded Sunday ticket. You couldn't just get the regular Sunday ticket. You had to get the, like, enhanced Sunday ticket or the premium Sunday ticket. Then you can get the Red Zone channel and just pay every step of the way. And it was expensive, but the boys did take advantage of it, and they did use it, and they did spend mostly all day Sunday watching the games. So I bit the bullet and let them have that. But the bill has just been going up and up and we did reduce the amount of boxes from five boxes that we had. We're down to two right now. And with everyone out away at school and so we are gonna be empty nesters in about a week and a half to 10 days. We don't need all these TVs with all these boxes on it. We just need our main den TV that my wife and I watch TV in and everything else can be on a fire stick or, or something like that, a smart TV, um, something like that where we're watching Netflix or Hulu or something. So I think reducing the amount of TVs is, is gonna be paramount. Uh, the other thing is, I, I don't wanna, I wanna jump on this, it's August, I wanna jump on this before they start billing me for the football package because I wanna knock that down. But I think based on all these years of doing customer service calls and you know I know this is mostly an automotive how-to channel and we do some product reviews and, and some cooking and some other things we have been doing a lot of customer service calls and it's been my experience that if you call to cancel they're more likely to give you a, a better deal so I am looking through my bill to see what I have right now and it looks like they don't really itemize the bill i even downloaded the bill to see if i can get a better itemization but it just says monthly charges entertainment and then in parentheses all included 107 dollars i was paying like 54 for five tvs then hbo max i don't even know what that is i don't know if anybody takes advantage of that that's 14.99 the tv access fee is seven dollars maybe that's for the one additional box maybe one box is included um then I got a federal cost recovery charge of 14, then there's some st stupid taxes, um, and the, they all add up to maybe a dollar. So the brunt of it is the 107, the 14.99, and the TV access fee. So I'm gonna call up, I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna cancel because I can cancel. There is nothing holding me to them at this point. I can cancel and, and wing it and maybe get another service or don't get any service. and and see if we like it, but we do like the, the convenience of having a DVR um, because we are never able to sit down and watch a show, a broadcast show when it's actually broadcast. Um, but that might change too and in, in 10 days when Emily leaves and, and my wife and I, it's just us in the house, we might actually get to sit down and watch something when it actually airs, um, but we'll see. We're gonna find the number here and I'm gonna call customer service and take you along for the ride. Well, they don't even make it easy to find a freaking phone number for customer service, so, hmm. Found one. Six, seven, six, seven, two, eight, nine, two, two, eight, nine, two. Now I 
fully expect that it's going to be, you know, crappy. This call may be recorded. It is. English. Thank you for calling Direct TV. Para Español, o Prima El Ocho. Calls recorded for quality. Are you calling about the account associated with the number 9X? No. Please tell me a phone number or the AT&T account number associated with your service. Three zero. I have your number as three zero. Is that correct? Yes. One moment while I pull up your account information. How can I help you today? I would like to cancel my service. Are you moving to a new address? No. To help me verify access to your account, please say or enter your four-digit account passcode. Everything has been up to this point. Now we'll get somebody and I'll be all static y. Hello, thank you for calling Direct TV. My name is Anise, and who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? This is Robert. And how are you doing today, Robert? I'm doing all right, thank you. That's good to hear. And how can we assist you here today? Well, I, I've had Direct TV for quite some time now, and um, I've only got it on two TVs now, currently. I used to have it on five TVs, and I'm paying way too much money, so I'd like to cancel and try a different service. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that, sir. We have options here. I'd be more than happy to take a look at two for adjusting the pricing, especially for just two TVs. Do you have the telephone number associated with the account here, sir? I, I, I don't think I have a phone number associated. I think my phone number is associated with my wireless account. I, I, can, okay. I can give you the number, but I don't think, because I, I, I think that, that when I use my, my phone number, it's associated with my wireless AT&T account, not this AT&T account. Okay. Do you have uh, the account number then? Yes. It's three zero. Okay, perfect, thank you. And the name on the account here, sir? Robert. As well as the passcode. And how long ago did you remove those three TVs? It's been quite some time. Okay. We used to have it on five because I had it in all the kids' rooms, and then we just knocked mm -hmm. it. We knocked it down to the den and the and the family room. Okay. And now we just have two, and you know, it's it's still. I, I remember when I first got it, it was like fifty bucks a month, fifty four. Oh, wow. Fifty four rings a bell, but I, this is just way too much money for TV. It's just me and my wife now. Okay. So let me take a look into that here. And what are some of the shows and channels that you and your wife like to watch? Uh, to be honest, uh, the regular, you know, we watch some news channels. Um, we watch um, Fox News and we watch uh, HBO. That's really much. That's pretty much it. Okay. Do you watch any sports at all? Um, no, not, not, not right now, no. Okay. Co I mean, college football, but that's not that important. Okay, so let me take a look here for you guys.
Matter of fact, we really don't even watch HBO much. Oh, really? Yeah. I really don't need HBO. You know, we watch regular network TV and, you know, I'll, I'll flip through some of the uh, sports channels like college sports, but, you know, nothing, uh, like I know I had the NFL Sunday ticket in the red zone, I don't need any of that anymore. Fifty-six seventy-five. What do I get? So keeping everything the same. The only difference is is the HBO Max would be removed. So the, it, the, I would uh, two TVs. Excuse me. It would be on the two TVs. Correct. And no HBO Max. Everything else stays Correct. the same. Correct. Um, yeah, I, I'll give that a try. I want to make sure that you take off the, um, the Sunday ticket in the red zone before I start. I know that I usually get billed for that in September. Okay. I want to make sure that gets removed also. I don't need that anymore. So my bill will be about fifty-six dollars, you said? Right, fifty-six seventy-five. Okay, and how long is that good for? So this would be for the next twelve months here. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, that that that's that's fine. I'll, I'll go for that. Okay, perfect. So I'll go ahead and apply that here now. Eight, 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 eight,
Okay, great. So then you will see that being reflected on your next month's bill here. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're absolutely welcome. So just a quick recap here for you, sir. You did call in on um, looking at the or looking to lower the bill here. Um, we did remove the HBO Max as well as the NFL Sunday tickets, and I was able to add on the input the so promotional offer here for the next 12 months, which brought the bill here to the $56.75. And once again here, my name is Anise, and it was my goal here to provide you with the five-star customer service experience, and I hope I was able to do that for you here today, Robert. You absolutely did. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You enjoy the rest of your day, sir. You too. Thank you. All right. That was pretty good. Pretty painless. It was a clear phone call. I understood what she said, and she spoke uh, don't call me a racist, but she spoke clear enough English where I could understand it. Sometimes some of these customer service reps have such a thick accent, it's difficult to understand what they're saying. It just makes communication difficult. I'm not trying to be a racist. It just makes communication difficult. So by making a phone call, I saved 50% on my bill. It went from 128, let's call it 130, down to 56. I'm no math whiz, but that's about half price, uh, more than half price. I'm happy with that. We kept two TVs, believe it or not, because um, I think, I didn't even ask what the difference would be uh, knocking off one of the TVs, but for 56, I'll keep the two TVs. It'll be a little bit more convenient for my wife when she wants to watch something on the DVR, maybe laying in bed. She'll be able to do that now. And... Um, and I'm happy. That's uh, AT&T's DirecTV. I started out with five TVs at a bill of $54. And a few years later, I wound up with two TVs at a bill of $128. So I got it back down to where I was, albeit only with two TVs, because I'm no longer a new customer. So I know they're not going to give me that deal anymore. And nor do I need five TVs. So for me, it worked out. And we got rid of the Red Zone channel and the NFL Sunday ticket, because the boys aren't here to take advantage of it. Hope you enjoyed the quick customer service call video. It actually went very well. I didn't lose my temper. I didn't get excited. I didn't raise my blood pressure. I'm happy. And comments down below. Thanks for watching.